What's up, everybody? Me, Tom Gamer here, bringing you another mission tutorial file for Arma 3, um, for multiplayer, of course. Uh, so now, since last time, uh, now we're in Eden Editors, so uh, it might have changed a bit, the interface might change a bit. So bear with me here, I haven't done a video quite a while for tutorials, but the coding, the scripting stays the same. So if you're ready to follow, I'm definitely ready to follow. Let's get going right now. Alright, so today the video is going to be about radio command. So if you look, uh, right now I'm in a pre preloaded world that I already uh, I already scripted. So basically to access this, you're going to press zero, and then as you can see here on with your scroll wheel, there's a where zero is. There's another radio. You will press. You can press zero again, and these are all modes I program myself uh, from one to zero there. So these actually turn something on, remove shit, uh, and all those all, all those kind of things. So basically, these technically, just for explanation right now before we start, uh, number one is Radio Alpha, two, Radio Bravo, Charlie, Delta, so on and so on. So once, once we start getting into the programming, the scripting part, that will make more sense as we're going on. So we will go into our uh, tutorial f uh, mission file to get started on writing these up. Now before you start, I hope that by now you uh, you have upgraded to, to Eden Editor, because I think you have to now. The 2D Editor on its own doesn't work anymore. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have, you already have to do that. Uh, there is a way, if I remember, I have, I've, I've, done my own, I've done mine when the Eden Editor came out. So I don't remember exactly. I think I j can you just uh no when you save it basically when you're I don't know if you can still do it but basically when you were in the 2D file you could have save it as an Eden editor 3D file and it would have done it automatically for you so anyway let's go into our tutorial file and start with that so 3D editor all right so we are back to the world we used uh, for all the other tutorial everything's still there as you can see on your left here uh, it looks the same as just now we're in 3D and believe me, it makes it a lot easier to do everything. Uh, so, and also I would like to say thank you for everybody watching the videos. There's a lot of you that watch videos. It's basically my most popular videos are my th tutorial videos. So I really appreciate that. And, uh, also all the comments, all the nice comments. I really appreciate that today. I might sound like I'm a bit stuffy. I got a cold right now. So sorry about that, but I really wanted to keep going with the series. I got about Maybe four more videos I want to make for this to call like to call the series over for me. Uh, so yeah, so basically, we're in this mission to just to show you. I'll load up into the mission. And I'll show you what it looks like without any of the file loaded. So we're in game, and when we press zero, the radio option won't come up. As you can see, it's grayed out because we don't have anything preloaded inside of it. So basically, now we're gonna go back to the editor up here on your right. You can press either F3 or click on triggers. And we'll just, you can pick this one here. So basically, what I'm not going to show you all the ones I had in the other game. Uh, basically, the structure is the same. You just have to change the file uh, loc uh, file name. So I can, I can show you, I'll put that in the comments below for you to check that out. So basically, I'm going to put one trigger, I'm going to put three triggers. I'm going to do three, three for you guys, so you guys can check that out. So basically the first one, I can double click on it, we'll call this one, uh, basically in the text file here, you want to write the name that's going to appear in the radio, okay? So what we're going to do, the first one I'm going to do, God Mode On, alright? So in the trigger activation, we're going to go here, and we're going to go in Radio Alpha, okay? So this is this is where this is where you select basically Alpha Bravo all the way down to Juliet. Uh, so that's equal to ten. Uh, so radio Alpha that's going to give us our Alpha radio position. So number one. So condition this should be in there. You can leave that like that. So in the in the activation space you write null. 
space enter uh, space equal space and then you will open the square brackets or open and close and you will date exec vm and then you'll space and you'll open up the uh the bra the brackets there uh, not the brackets the uh uh the speech uh brackets sorry i don't remember the name <laughs> uh then you will write this is where you put the file location basically so you will do radio menu oop menu radio menu uh backspace where is the backspace again backspace god mode on this is our file name and sql then close the speech brackets and uh semicolon and then you have to just put uh timeout down here and that should be it for here so you'll press ok so then we'll just do the other ones too while we're here all right so i got three all right uh what i will do just to show you uh, i'm just gonna put props in here all right so i'm just gonna i just move these over here let's get them on the way uh, it doesn't matter but uh, so i put a quad bike and what i've noticed too is in props there's no more cars you have to go into the blue four and you have to click place vehicle with with crew and you have to uncheck it if you want an empty vehicle so that we're going to do that for our god mode target on so what we're going to do now is i'm going to give myself uh, some grenades all right so now we're basically set up for when we're going to load back into the files so basically now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into the um we're going to have to load uh, our f our files into our mission so go into mission uh go into documents our mode profile your profile name mp missions and we will go into uh tutorial 2 you will create a new folder and you will call it radio menu see where that's that's what we were giving it earlier so basically now what you're going to do in this is you you will create uh you will create uh your your sqf files to load up uh, on those uh commands in the radio alpha radio bravo and radio charlie uh so what you'll do is i'll just i'll just drag them from another file i've made earlier so this is another one it's not the same this one's compl i just copied the one i had in my folder and then i need a uh, god mode So I will take God mode on, God mode on target, and God mode off. Just drag him here. I'll show you the codes and all these other ones. I'll I'll put them in the description below, like I said earlier there. So we'll won't need this anymore. So first we'll start with God mode on. This is our alpha. Uh, let's just open it in Notepad. So any everything, all there is in that file is player allow damage false. So basically yourself do for allow damage you put false that means you won't get any damage okay so this is our this is our radio alpha then we go into god mode off you put true that means it's going to allow you to get damage again so when we go into god mode on target that's for uh, if i remember you can do it on players and vehicles so what you do here God mode on target, and this is basically cursor target, allow damage, false. So those are the basic ones. They're not hard. So basically, so that's done in the right file location. Now we'll go back into the game and try them out. All right, we're back into the game. I just moved uh, my crate and my uh, the target I want to blow up farther away from uh, w actually where I spawned in because I don't want to walk all the way over there. So basically, now we're ready. Uh, now we should be able just to low play scenario. And we'll show you with and without the, the, the codes on. All right, we have our bike here. And we have explosive over here. So basically, we'll just double check. 
radio. So we have all three there. So we won't we won't activate them just yet. Oops. Uh, backspace, backspace, backspace to turn it off. So we won't just turn it off just yet, because I want to uh, try it. All right. For some reason, it doesn't uh, it doesn't let me. So I've got a backpack here. I'll just take this and. Uh, All right, so load that shit up. Now, technically, I should die. Yes. So that's with no god mode on. So hopefully, this won't make a liar out of me. Uh, out of me. So I'll just go pick this shit up. Gonna need a bullet or a missile. All right, so now we're gonna press zero, zero, and we're gonna press one to activate God mode or uh, and enter. Enter doesn't work, so we will try this again. Hopefully, it won't make a liar on me. And there you go. I am not dead. All right, so that worked. So we'll just grab another bullet. Or missile, sorry, I keep saying bullet. All right, so we will go back zero, zero. And since God mode is on, it won't let me turn it on again. So I press enter on God mode off. And now, and I'm definitely dead. So respawn. Now we'll try the last one. We'll try uh, seeing the target getting destroyed here. All right, so we will try to destroy this vehicle here. And obviously it has been destroyed, so... What we will do is go and reload this. All right, so now we're going to try target mode on. Hopefully it works. So what we'll do, we'll get close to the vehicle. So our cursor is pointing at it. We'll do God mode target on. Now I'm hoping just for uh, shits and giggles, I will turn mine on. And there you go. And there you go. So those are the radio commands. Uh, one thing, I just have to check, I'm just going to check something real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, one thing I forgot, because uh, I don't know if you saw, but when I, each time I was using uh, the triggers, it wasn't, it wasn't going back on the menu. And one thing I forgot is you have to check this out, repeatable. I forgot to, I forgot to put that on there, so hopefully, yeah, you get to the end of the video and you actually watch the whole video. Uh, re so yeah, repeatable. So that means you're going to be able to do it like if you play for an hour in the same mission without reloading it. This will always be there and it's going to be multiple time. So yeah, that's it for the radio command portion of our tutorial. Uh, th hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit the like and subscribe to the channel. We'll always appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much for all the support in this series. I really appreciate that too. Uh, I will try to make a couple more videos. There's a couple, I want, there's a couple videos I want to make still that I feel people should would be interesting interested to know so yeah basically for all the other ones that i showed you in the other one i'll put them in the comments below for sure uh there's a 10 of them total and uh, some of them are useful they're they're the ones i loaded and there's probably many more they're basically all of them are basically when you go when you're in the when you're playing in this scenario and you press escape and you have your uh your uh your uh, your execution executable uh window open that's where you can put them and basically i'm just taking those commands and putting them in a in a file sqf file so that is it so thank you so much guys for watching follow me at me time gamer on twitter you can follow me twitch.tv for such me time gamer you can follow me facebook.com for such me time gamer and right here youtube.com for such me time gamer where you should definitely go check out all the other videos in the arma tutorial series and of course, all the other series I do. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.